I was talking to a realtor the other day who had expressed to me that they were in a rut. Their business was not where it once was and that they were feeling stuck like they had completely lost their mojo. And this is a very cyclical business. It's not unheard of or unusual for us to experience highs and lows. And it's the old saying is like that the realtor that can eliminate those highs and lows are the ones who really succeed and break through and, and build a, a, a sustainable business. So if you're in this situation right now, which by the way, like if you're an agent and you claim that you've never had this sort of situation happen to you before, uh, you're, you're lying. Uh, everyone's gone through it. And so what I would invite you to do if you're in this situation where like you've lost your mojo, you've lost your way, you're in a rut, look back and reflect on what got you to that point. And when things were, well, actually, let, let's back up. If you are in that position, you should be asking yourself, was what I was doing before working? Is what I was doing before working? If the answer is yes, great. If the answer is no, then I have a different answer. So let's pretend that the answer is yes. What I was doing before was working. To get yourself out of that rut, to get yourself out of that, to get yourself, to get the mojo back, you need to reclaim the schedule that was enabling you to be that rock star and stick to it like it was the Bible. Like you, you, you must get back because what happens when agents actually lose their mojo is they get caught up in the whirlwind for disciplines of execution for anyone who hasn't read it. They get caught up in the whirlwind and they actually stop doing the shit that was working. And so I would, I would almost guarantee that if you're an agent who's lost their mojo and what was doing or what you were doing before was working is that you actually just got caught up in the whirlwind and stopped doing or started doing less of what was actually working. So if that's you, go back to the skip, like literally just self make a commitment to yourself today. I'm going to go back to doing X, Y, Z, waking up at this time, doing this thing, executing on this at this time, prospecting at this time, role playing at this, like literally doing what you, what was bringing you success to a T, get back to it. And yeah, easier said than done. But the truth is, is that the whirlwind is actually very easy to let go of because the whirlwind is, is, is bullshit. It actually doesn't bring you or make you any money. That's number one. Number, number two, if you have lost your mojo, but you never really had it to begin with because what you were doing before really wasn't working for you, I've got news for you. You have to realign yourself with something, someone, an entity that's going to enable you to become the agent that you're meant to be. It's not easy to admit to yourself that you picked the wrong company, the wrong team, could be the wrong coach, could be. Whoever's giving you the advice that's not working for you, cut it off. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. If you're in a rut, you've lost your mojo and you, you've been getting shit advice from your manager, your team leader, your coach, whatever the entity is that's feeding you that misinformation, shut it down, cut it off. You can do better. Now, this is where self-analysis or being honest with yourself really comes into play. If you've not been, if you've been if you've been told to do certain things and you haven't been executing on them, perhaps before blaming others, you should look within and self-reflect. But losing your mojo is a weird thing, right? If, if, if Chances are, if you were doing something before, if you've lost your mojo, you were doing something before that was working for you. And so 
I have a funny feeling that most of you are in situation A who have had this situation occur to you either before or in the, in the present moment. Start by just going back to the basics. At the end of the day, guys, it's not rocket science. Do what works. Do it all out. And you win. It's Danny Gold, everyone, selling Silicon Valley. Stay legendary, everybody. And go reclaim that mojo.